putting things in your prison wallet? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gay now. Buddy. Oh, buddy. How are we feeling there? Oh, buddy. I'm gonna quit maybe SEAL school because I want to go home and play Skyrim. I actually could have prevented 9-11 if I was born. What's going on out there in YouTube land? <laughs> <laughs> Today we're with a face you might recognize, Donut Operator. He's got 3.4 million subs over on YouTube. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put his link below, show him some love. He does all kinds of interesting content. Uh, there's, there's bingo involved. Um, he's putting a different spin on some of the stories you may be getting, um, particularly around law enforcement. Um, from experience, somebody that has been in the Navy, um, worked with SWAT, been in law enforcement, um, so he has some experience when it comes to that kind of stuff. And he's a big time YouTuber, and uh, this is the first time he's ever gonna be selling crack on the internet, huh? That's true. Normally I just sell bodies on the internet today. It's crack, you know? We, uh, we switch it up every once in a while. <laughs> you put the lotion away, I am disappointed now. <laughs> it's, it's still here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the inappropriate piece, because I don't know. <laughs> so he's uh, dealing with a little bit of back pain, a little bit of neck pain, hasn't been adjusted before, and he's gonna talk us through exactly what happened to kind of kick it off. Now that he's doing YouTube stuff, he's always in front of a computer. Um, and that's not the best for your posture, as he's kind of demoing right here. Yeah, um, all day long. Look at yeah. this. So you scared? You excited? You ready to roll? I'm excited. I'm excited, man. All right, let's rock and roll. <laughs> cool. Secondarily, this video is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee Company. So thank you guys for opening up your doors. If you haven't checked them out, we'll stick that link down there below as well. Um, so tell us a little bit about the back pain you've been experiencing, like what led up to that, and then what you're hoping to get out of today. Uh, so I was in the Navy for five years, and the majority of my naval career, I was trying to be a Navy SEAL. So after a bunch of punishment on my back, running in sand, rucking, all that stuff, I finally got to BUDS, which is the Navy SEAL training out in San Diego. And my first, uh, the sec my second day there, I fell off an obstacle course about 30 feet onto my back. I was like, I can keep going. And then the next day we were doing surf passage where it's where you take a boat crew out into the ocean, the, the rubber rafts, you turn around and you ride the waves back in. And so my boat crew was coming back in, but a 20 foot swell came up and dropped another boat crew in a boat on top of us. So it just like, two of the guys had permanent spine injuries from that. And Oof. then I, I got crushed too. And I kept going for another three days, I think. Mm -hmm. And then this is funny, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim came out, 11, 11, 11. And I'm laying there in the sand and my back is hurting. And I'm like, I'm gonna quit maybe SEAL school because I wanna go home and play Skyrim. Big gamer, by the way, if you couldn't pick up on that. And uh, so I get out of the Navy, a uh, year passes, and then I become a police officer. And my department wouldn't let us wear load vests uh, because they said it looked too militaristic. And so we had the belts that all police officers, most police officers carry. And that's like 30 pounds of gear around your waist, even in foot chases, no matter what. And I was on SWAT at the same time. So I was carrying a rifle, had heavy ass gear on, because back then we didn't have plate carriers. We had this weird old, like huge SWAT gear because my department couldn't afford plate carriers. Mm. So I ran around in that, raiding houses and stuff for years. And so, uh, my, yeah, my back is kind of jacked from all that. And I've never been to anyone about it or even talked to a chiropractor. I've just been kind of being a stubborn bastard about it. It's, it's a good bet. Yeah. So, so most of what you're feeling is kind of here? Yeah, kind of up here, which uh, we were talking about that too. Is now I'm, I, I live stream and I do YouTube full time. So I'm in front of my computer editing and I notice my posture always comes down into this. Mm. And I try, you know, I catch myself sometimes but mostly it's like this. So yeah, most of the back pain is upper and like mid. Man, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll unlock those areas, work on some of the muscles and then I'll give you some home exercises you can kind of maintain. Okay, dope. dope. We'll look you up with uh, Dr. Josh out here too who works at Goldberg and you know, he can probably work on you occasionally. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be good. That's awesome. Navy SEAL. I always wanted to be like an indigo sea lion, you know? <laughs> Dude, Goldberg's a good guy. Uh, we had him, yeah, we had him on my podcast a couple weeks ago. And he's super, he, he's kind of mad at me right now. He's mad at you? Uh, he, he was a little irritated with me. Because, he you know, he's the Dodge. Yeah. He's the Dodge guy. Yeah, I'm a Dodge guy too. He's like one of their biggest people. And uh, I had a Hellcat. Uh-huh. And I traded it for a Tesla. <laughs> God damn. An electric car trade. Yeah, but I traded it because it was faster. It was the S Plaid. Okay. Quicker, yeah. Yeah. Because I think the, the Hellcat still is a higher top end speed, correct? I don't know. I'm not sure. But he was like, he was like, hey, tell me if you're ever going to sell or trade that because I'll buy it from you. The Hellcat? Yeah. 
and I didn't tell him. And so you sold it? <laughs> well, I told him, but then I did it the next day. I didn't give him enough time to think about it. And then the, the name of your podcast again is? Unsubscribe. So. Yeah, so it's me, Eli Doubletap, who's a classic black rifle guy, and then uh, Batty Streams, who is the most entertaining streamer on Twitch. Batty. Okay. So unsubscribe from my channel and go subscribe to the unsubscribe <laughs> No, subscribe to this channel. Actually, the way I feel right now, maybe you should unsubscribe. Maybe you should. Carrying a little tension there, man. Yeah. The weight of the world on you, you know? Uh, a little bit. So what got you to YouTube? Uh, and the name, so Donut Operator, I'm assuming that's a play on your two previous careers, is that? Yeah, it's a play on like a lot of SWAT guys call themselves operators, and I don't think that's like quite an operator career. And then Donut, of course, police. So Donut Operator came out of that. I like it. Yeah, and then uh, around and you, two- And you have merch over on Bunker Branding? Yeah, Bunker Branding, same place you have merch. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but if you want to support the channel, we've got custom shirts over here, so if you want to pick one of these up to support us, get some dad jokes on some of them, check it out right there. You can go to bunkerbranding.com slash Dr. Bo Hightower, and I stuck the description in the link below. So we'd appreciate it, you don't have to, but if you want to grab a shirt, that's where you can get one. So if, you, so if you guys want to support us, you can buy yeah, some shirts. Yeah, yes, dude, go to Bunker Branding, get some shirts, get some shirts. Bring that right ear down to your right shoulder. And then bring it back to center. And then again. Come back to center. And you moved to San Antonio then. So you yeah. were doing YouTube before you moved here? Yeah, I, uh, so I, when I was a police officer in 2016, uh -huh. I uh, wanted to do YouTube stuff with my son. We started making, uh, Minecraft videos together. Okay. So if you if you look at my channel to this day, my first two videos are Minecraft videos. Hmm. And uh, I was still a cop at the time, and I noticed that the news was putting out a lot of misinformation mm -hmm. on shootings and like critical incidents. Wait, are you insinuating the media isn't always uh, straightforward? <laughs> They're never straightforward, huh. man. And uh, so that uh, put out one shooting breakdown and it did really well and so i started doing those oh jesus so there's an audience for people like that are wanting to dig a little deeper and kind of figure out what's yeah going on. like context is always important in any situation it's the most important right yeah because there's lies damn lies and statistics right yeah the news is never putting out any uh any context on things well, it's easy to manipulate a narrative while not necessarily lying, like, you know, you'd be under oath lying, but you know what people are going to take out of that. Yeah, exactly. Even if they're not straight up lying, they're always misconstruing, like, the titles and everything to get clicks. Well, one thing I know for sure is the media really knows a lot about firearms. <laughs> oh, God. Almost <laughs> as much as politicians. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, do you know New Jersey just banned 50 caliber, uh, just banned 50 caliber guns no. it's like yeah new jersey just did when's the last time you ever heard of a 50 caliber used in a crime they don't i mean just what happened to scott really yeah <laughs> it's just scott getting blown up yeah damn that 50 my, caliber my counterfeit round it's the last one i heard of but, they blew uh, it up on purpose afterwards yeah which is good shout yeah. out to our boys at uh, kentucky ballistics yeah payback payback all right look straight down so now you're at 3.4, almost 3.5 million subs. What's that been like? Do you, are you getting a lot of like, when you go to the store, people recognize you, people yell your name out? Yeah, it's getting a lot more and more like that. It's my, my girlfriend, Heather, she's always joking with me and poking at me about it because every time we go out now, some, at least someone comes up. Wants a picture with you? Yeah, wants a picture, which I don't mind at all, man. It's the... Are you signing anybody's chest? No, not yet, dude. I want to sign a baby's forehead, though. That hasn't happened. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Sign my baby. Shake and bake. <laughs> How do you get that a lot? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I look like a meme, though. I always wear the same outfit and have the same beer, so. <laughs> do you go to the grocery store with your scrubs on? Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> I sleep in them. It's very important to stay on brand. Tilt your head back up. Ooh, these are my holy ones too. They've been blessed. You can see, see my holiness. 
<laughs> I saw that earlier. I was like, man, I know this man can afford new scrubs. I don't know, man. My chance isn't as lucrative as yours, I don't think. <laughs> Keep looking down for me. And then back up. And then down. And back up. Oh, and down. Keep looking down. Keep looking down. And back up. And down. So when you so so what made you want to go and you said you wanted to be a Navy SEAL? Like was that from childhood or do you have family members that are in the military? Like what what prompted that? No, I hated my job in the military. But uh, how did you get to that point? What made you make the decision to to enlist? Oh, to enlist? Yeah. I originally joined Army Infantry. Okay. Uh, or I wanted to be Army Infantry, and as I was going to the Army office, my mom convinced me to do Navy. She's like, you want to be, you, you could be a medic on one of those big medic boats. And I was like, uh, I'll go Navy for you, but I'm going to do EOD, okay. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. So I got a contract for EOD and uh, my recruiter fudged all my physical fitness uh, numbers because I was not fit at all. Oh, I thought you were going to say because your, your numbers were so good that, you know. No, dude, I was, I was, I, I, bring I, down dude, a I, yeah, I was, you know, I played sports all through high school, but I was a huge nerd and didn't really work out very much. And uh, I go in and I'm like, you gotta do, you know, you gotta do like five pull-ups, swim 500 meters, run mile and a half, whatever, whatever. And uh, so I did my five pull-ups, which are supposed to be dead hang, but I was kipping the whole time. <laughs> and the recruiter's like, oh yeah, you'll be good at EOD. Go ahead, sign this contract. And so I went in and uh, right when you get there, you do the, physical, the same physical fitness test to make sure you're good for the program. And I couldn't do like two dead hang pull-ups. And so they pulled me in and they're like, what the fuck? And so I think my recruiter ended up getting in trouble over that. And they're like, oh God, that's hitting the nerve on my temple. And my favorite one is of the dog. And say hello to Evan. All right, just me, see you guys out there. <laughs> run, tough run, owls. But I still can't Temple of a Dog, it's a grunge band from the early 90s from Seattle. No, no, I... Chris Cornell, Eddie Vedder. There's an honor of Mother Love Bone. Just me. Okay, well, I'm a little gay here. No, dude. <laughs> I'll be the old guy. The Temple of a Dog reference, okay. <laughs> so after, after they uh, called you in after the two dead hang pull-ups, what, what was the next? Oh, they were like, you could... Uh, were you good at swimming, though? No, I sucked at it. I'm good at it now, but they, uh, Jesus Christ, they, uh, you're in my brain. He didn't have to swim, he just walked. <laughs> no, they were like, you got two choices. You can be a boatswain's mate, which is, you're like the bitch of the Navy, hmm. painting the sides of ships and cleaning chitters. Yeah, I'm so unfamiliar with all like the moss and like all the rivalries between the different branches, you know? And then they said you can, do, on each other. you can do that or you can be an avionic electronic technician. And I was like, oh, I'd rather do that. Okay. So I was an AT in a fixed airplane avionics for years. And what does that entail? Uh, you fix the navigation communication systems of airplanes. I actually could have prevented 9-11 if I was born about 12 years earlier. Jesus. You want to you hear, that, plane hear that story? No, nah, it's, it's, it's a possibility. It's kind of a funny meme we have going on my, my Twitch chat if you want to hear that story. Let it roll. Okay. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> oh, that hurts like a bitch. You should fill that one perch everywhere. All right, so there's a navigation system on all airplanes in the U.S. military and civilian world called a TCAS, Tactical Collision Avoidance System. Keeps you from running into, running into natural structures like mountains and Hmm. Driving into the oceans and stuff like that seems useful. But what they haven't done in the past 30 years is account for skyscrapers being built. And me, little E3 in the Navy, mm -hmm. figured this out and was like, "Why are there no buildings on the tactical collision avoidance system?" And uh, my petty officer, my first class petty officer, was like, uh, "I don't know." My chief was like, uh, "I don't know." All our pilots were like, uh, "I don't know." So I did this huge write-up for Northrop Grumman saying, why aren't there automatic avoidance systems for skyscrapers? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, there should be. <laughs> and so I did this write-up, and uh, Northrop Grumman added skyscrapers to all the tactical collision avoidance systems for the past 40 years. 
and I got a Navy Achievement Medal for it. I could have written 9-11 if I was just born a couple years earlier. Man. It's like a little, pretty, it's a little epic story. Little, a little E3 Navy guy. Also, that would remind you that, uh, you know, the people in charge, I think we, we assume that the merit or whatever is there, and that's not always the case. Yeah, but uh, after that, they went and updated every single, every single civilian and military aircraft in the world. You getting commission on that? No, dude, I was, I was a little enlisted military guy. Yeah. I got a spot NAM, a Navy Achievement Medal. Okay. And you have that frame somewhere? Uh, no, nah, it's like, I don't know, it's somewhere. I'm surprised you guys didn't shoot it. <laughs> Everybody shoots their YouTube awards and... <laughs> Did you shoot your YouTube award? Nah, nah, I got five of them now. Five? I started, I started other channels gonna, just to see if I can get to 100,000 subscribers. How many channels you got? Uh, I got four. What are the names of them? So I got a uh, donut operator main one, so I got a play button for a million and a hundred thousand for that one. Okay. And then Donut Gamer Raider, which is my gaming channel I haven't uploaded to in a year and a half. Okay. Uh, my my love is Operation Donut, which is my blog channel. Okay. And then I have Donuts for All Police footage, which is just that exactly as the name implies, raw police footage. Hmm. Yeah. So do you, do you actually enjoy donuts? No, I don't I don't eat sweets at all. For real? Yeah, for real. If I was to eat a donut, it would be like fresh off the line Krispy Kreme. Okay. You ever had a fresh off the line Krispy Kreme? Yeah. Like you yeah. go in there and it rolls off and you just... Probably like 20 years ago, when they first came to New Mexico, it was like this thing we would all wait outside. We didn't have cell phones yet, so we just kind of did what everybody else did. And uh, yeah, I did. They're okay. I'm not a donut guy. I can feel that in my ear. They're, they're okay, you know. Because I was going to start asking, I'm like, all right, are we, are we doing cinnamon roll or is it Boston cream? You got to choose one. Mm, not Boston cream, dude. Cinnamon roll, okay. all day. You gotta choose one. Yeah, I eat those every once in a while, especially when you go into the airport and there's the, uh, oh. um, what's the, Cinnabon, oh, the Cinnabon, god damn. Those are good. They're okay. I like uh, the fruit snacks, you know, the Welch's. I'm gonna have something sweet, that's what it's gonna be. Oh yeah, okay, so I am kind of addicted to now and laters. Now and later. <laughs> I have not. Even an hour later in a long time. Yeah, I remember like, oh, that's in my temple again. Yep. Uh, yep. So that's what's called cervicogenic referral. So you're talking about the trigeminal nerve earlier. So basically it shares the same nucleus as, as the cervical yeah. area. So your brain represents the pain from here up here. There's no nerves that actually connect there. So yeah, we're talking about your weird. brain perceiving things. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. So where that, that book comes in is it can rewire some of these connections. Huh. Okay, yeah, it's like, it's like sharp at first and then it got numb. Yeah, it fades away. That's weird. So when people get these headaches from tension in their neck, it's usually coming out of these areas. Oh. And culturally we call them migraines, but migraines actually come from the nerves and the vasculature inside the brain. Okay. So if you can recreate it from like the traps of the neck, it's not actually a migraine. Huh. It's what we call cervicogenic, or originating from the cervical spine headache. So this is where like lacrosse ball is super helpful, you know, strengthening the muscles here, stretching your pecs. Because if you can hold yourself here, you're gonna be in a better position. Yeah, of course. That's exactly what I don't do. That game in life. Nah, I've been lazy as shit the past year, man. What's, uh, what's your favorite YouTube channel to watch, to uh, consume? You know what just popped into my head? Brandon so, Herrera, the AK guy. AK guy. AR build or AK build? Oh, I have AR builds. He's helping me piece together an AK build here soon though, man. There's so many cool modern AK builds you can do right now with the Zeneco parts. Oh, they look so sexy too. Mm -hmm. But with the war popping off in Ukraine and Russia and all that, Zeneco is like super hard to get right now. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's not as bad as the other side, huh? I don't know. He's like a blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just blacked out, though. I don't know what happened. <laughs> No, was, yeah, that was kind of a blur of me just trying to uh, talk over the, the... It felt good, but it felt bad at the same time. Yeah. We'll call it productive pain. Oh, okay. It's productive. like your body can tell it needs it, but it still sucks. Oh, God, I'm going to sleep so good tonight. All right, let's take this arm here. You're going to go in and out with it like that. I'm going to get inside of you here. So keep moving your arm. And when... Were you consuming YouTube content before you started uploading Minecraft videos? Yeah, yeah. I would uh, I would sit in my patrol car because uh -huh. I work nights, and sometimes you just didn't have anything to do. 
And so I would watch uh, I would watch I Dubs and H three H three old school Filthy Frank like you know the old school memers. Boy, Ethan turned out different, huh? Yeah, Ethan went to L A and turned into kind of a sorry, Kurt. Uh, sorry, um, Kurt. He turned into Kurt. He no, Ethan. I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. Ethan and uh, Ethan was like one of the reasons I wanted to start doing YouTube. And then I don't I don't know what Los Angeles does to people, but it turns them into a completely different person. Yeah. So you're just severely disappointed. You're not mad. You're disappointed. Yeah. Like I've always wanted to hang out with them and like say hey to them. And I Dubs. I actually hung out with I Dubs a couple times. He came to a range day with me. He said a boxing match or something, right? Yeah. He just did the Creator Clash. He held. He uh, organized and held that whole thing. And uh, he was a good friend of mine for a while there. And we haven't talked in a, in a little bit. But uh, yeah, we had to work on Graham after his boxing match. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I saw I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. He jumped up and ran out of the room or something. Yeah. Wait, while, he, while you were doing this. He was gonna, yeah, on this one. He was gonna take off in his Tesla Roadster. And he got for six dollars net. I think that was what the thumbnail said. People were mad at him about that one, I think. You know? The internet gets mad. But it's people engaging. mad at you, yeah. Well that's what I tell people. It's like please leave all the negative comments you want because So you don't get your feelings hurt. Well, that, yeah, I don't get my feelings hurt at all. Never? No. So let's take this hand right here, reach down towards your foot with it, and shrug, and reach. So tell me your craziest story from your patrol days. Oh, God. Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> okay. I might even give you a third. Uh, like crazy person or just something? Yeah, craziest nutty. person and also the nuttiest. All right. Wow. I just clarify the nutty. <laughs> I'm sure, to deal sure with you that. probably had to deal with that as well, but yeah, it's a kid's channel. You just keep doing this? It's not really. Scott's is a kid's What's channel, up? apparently. Oh no, wait, you want me to keep doing this? Yeah, keep moving it. It's like, Kentucky Ballistics is a kid's channel? That's what he tries to tell me. I mean, it is. He doesn't curse or make dick jokes like the rest of us do. Yeah, he's got like uh, dinosaurs and eggplants and right. watermelon time. He's such a wholesome guy. He is. He actually really is. He is. He's like one of the one of my. He's such a family man, and I like I look up to Scott so much. Oh God. He had to set me straight. He's like, "Hey man, no cussing." I was like, "Okay." Yeah, yeah exactly. He's like, "I can't post this, man." How expansive is my vocabulary? I don't know. <laughs> I may struggle here. I have a plethora, a cornucopia of curse words just ready to roll out. You know, you just keep doing this. Yeah. A variable smorgasbord. Oh, dude, I can roll out all the curse words. But you do it out of language, that's a, that's a plus as well. Oh, God, I wish I did. Turn your head to the right. So where are you from originally? I'm from Alabama. Alabama. Muscle Shoals. I was going to say Greenbow. No, if you listen to Sweet Home Alabama, they talk about Muscle Shoals. Okay. Which is really cool because it's a small town, but it's where like all the big artists back in the 70s used to escape to when they wanted to get out of LA. So Leonard Skinner and like Jimi Hendrix and like all the bigs used to go there to record. It's got a really, really gnarly history when it comes to rock artists. Hmm. I just remember they were like, hey, I hope Neil Young does remember. Southern man don't need him around anyhow. Yeah, Neil Young. And he's back on Spotify. <laughs> they came. Yeah, they, I'm, I'm leaving Spotify. They came back. All of them. Crosby, Stills, Nash. They all came back. Oh, it's so weird. They missed money. Tail tucked between their legs. Oh, that didn't. You, you tried to make a power play and it didn't work. And you just came back. <laughs> you got to double down, man. You can't come back, even if you lose money. Right? Am I wrong? <laughs> oh, you're right. You know, even if I take it out on this, I can't back down. I think that means they were wrong in the first place. It, it just might. Trying to ban other people off the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the biggest fucking podcast in the world that absolutely stays unbiased and just wants information. Yeah. Bam. Bam. You're like, what, what year is it, Grandpa? <laughs> Sir, uh, I enjoy your music, but it's not 1974 anymore. Yeah, nobody listens to your shit anyways. I mean, I like it, you know. I'm a... I'm a Ohio's a good song, you know, Old Man, Take a Look at My... There's jams, man. There's some jams. I'm down. I prefer Skinner, but uh, you know, I'm down. Oh, but the overestimation of one's uh, influence was on full display there. Because the number one comment on every post was like all the young kids, like who, 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 who? I know who he is, but honestly, if you asked me to name a song, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. No? Nope. Southern Man? No, no I, I've, I've never heard that. 
We're gonna have to listen to it later. I don't think so. You know, I, I probably wouldn't know. What Sweet it's Home like Alabama is a response, it. actually, to the song Southern Man. Yeah, of course, because the Southern Man don't need me. Right. I heard O'Neill put it down. Take that right hand, reach down towards your foot, and back up, and down. I feel that one in my pinky. If you had to choose, Tuscaloosa or Birmingham? Oh, God. Birmingham. All right. If you had to choose, Auburn, Alabama. Alabama. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. To this day, favorite team? I don't even watch football anymore, man. Okay. I don't watch any sports. Zero sports? No. I was a old well, UFC. I was a huge Alabama fan sure. when I was younger. We used to have to have police officers come in to my high school when we had Alabama Auburn Day because mm. there were so many fights. Really? Is that what motivated you to uh, be an officer? No. You're like, you know what I have to do is break no. up, break up kids fighting over which Alabama team? Who's gonna poison the trees? Yeah, I, dude, I was a so I grew up skateboarding. R.I.P. Tumors Corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hated cops when I was in high school, man. Skater, huh? Yeah. That's why I own a skate shop now. He was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Uh, that's the reason I started skateboarding was Avril Lavigne. There it is. That song is uh, not appropriate anymore, by the way. What? Why? What happened to Way? I mean, who, can't, who canceled that? 2022. <laughs> there we go. Still with us? Yeah, I'm here, dude. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, he's high left, low right. Is under there? Yeah, a little bit. And then that one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Crack's about to be dealt. Okay. I think Lucy Goosey thoughts. Drop your right hand down. Ha! Huh. <laughs> That's awesome. Still here. Hmm. Wiggle my toes. Yeah. How's that? Oh man. Yeah. Less tender. Yeah. This one's gonna. Be oh yeah, that one's still tender. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring it here. Try to really relax that down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that what you expected? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gay now. <laughs> you got old hands? <laughs> a little bit. I'm game. Babe, you wanna watch? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Oh, that's so much better. Still wiggling around? Yeah. Alright, now I gotta get that shoulder blade. So I'm gonna bring you up like that. Silly. Yeah. We're gonna get a little bit close here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Still with us. I'm here. Right. Scoop it up here. There you go. Big deep breath. And out. <laughs> What's oh happening? No, I'm just so relaxed now. This is awesome. <laughs> Take deep breath, hand out. Good. And see he's twisted here. Come on, pop here. Get a straight down shot. Like up down see shot? See how far I was left? Oh, yeah, like I that. can see it from here. Wait, what? Yeah, I can see it from here. You said my left butt cheek is up there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My gun was always on my right side. We actually see that a lot. So the weight on my duty belt was more, yeah, it was on the right. Between that and then like the, the computer being on the right hand side when they're sitting. Oh, uh, somebody, yeah. Huh. That's cool. So any position that you stay in, your body would want to stay there. Gotcha. And your body will remodel along those lines of stress. It's how calluses form, it's how muscles grow. Huh. I even have a dent in my pinky from my phone. Like the bone is morphed around it. The body adapts. Sometimes a good way, sometimes not. Yeah, super tight on this left paraspinal. Woosa, woosa. So you and uh, Ian Brandon make I mean, there's there's some Mimi content, but very different content. 
So do you guys know the other person's content and help each other to like set up different, uh... <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, so Brandon Herrera and I meet uh, a couple times a week. And does 9mm blow the lung out of the body? It absolutely does. Our president's the smartest president there's ever been. There's no questioning that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we meet a couple times a week, and we just, uh, we'll sit in 98. And uh, he'll throw me good ideas, I'll throw him good ideas, and watch a bunch of shootings and stabbings and stuff. So you're pretty numb to, like, gore and violence. A hundred percent. How do you feel about personal ownership of cannons? Uh, everyone should be able to get whatever they want. And you mean like an actual cannon, not a hand cannon? Oh, yeah, an actual cannon. An actual cannon. Yeah, dude, I want to put a bunch of grape shot in it and put it in front of my door, and when a home intruder comes in, I'm going to turn him into <laughs> just fucking beef jerky. Human jerky. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pack a bunch of razor blades and ball bearings in that thing. Jeez Louise. Yeah, when that one person comes through the door that's not supposed to be there. Heather. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, Heather can be there. <laughs> oh, sorry, baby. I, I, you can't hear me. You're dead. <laughs> I, that, that was meant for the shooter. I know you're going to come through the front. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. No, my bad. I'm uh, going to Ecuador now. Yeah, sorry for your closed casket there, babe. I love you. Okay, this is getting real creepy. Macabre? Yeah. Morbid? Yeah. Don't walk in the front door, babe. <laughs> I told you! I'm already inside at all times. <laughs> True, you can take it a lot of, a lot of different ways. <laughs> I don't get it. We you ready? Did you pioneer that technique, or is this commonly used? Uh, it's not commonly used, but I didn't pioneer it. Yeah. But I modified it and advanced it. So a lot of it's done in Asia, and even... The guy that sold me that tool actually is from Holland. He's a medical doctor from Holland. Yeah. Some tender there? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, worse on the left. Yeah, yep. Is this where you get a, like a painful spot in your lower back? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. So raise this leg as high as you can. Keep your knee straight. So straighten your knee. What do you mean? Just move this back down and then you're gonna lift your whole leg up. Oh, okay. There we go. Good. Now the other side. So drop Good. that down. Yeah. Now the right side. Does this feel the same or is it easier to go on the right than the left? It's way easier on the right, yeah. Uh, that's what we do, dude. I was in the Navy, I'm used to it. There it is, makes sense. You know what they say? What? Always sleep on your back. Oh. Because? <laughs> You're in the Navy. Oh. You don't want to like <laughs> suffocate on a blanket or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's common. Common, yeah, the other blanket suffocation. Makes sense. <laughs> Plus you don't want like, like centipedes like climbing your mouth on the bottom, I guess. <laughs> That's what I would guess, at least. See, when I get you in your stomach, then I'm supposed to ask if you're into thumb stuff. <laughs> and then Scott would say, just put a thumb in it. Uh, it, was, it was so weird, like, you know, before you go to the military, you, you go to MEPS, where they check you out to see if you're physically fit to uh -huh. be in the military. It's like, they always want you to bend over and spread just so they can check. Yeah. Yeah, dude, the weirdest thing is like, the guy that checked me had both his hands on my shoulders and he was really gentle though. Hmm. It's not like he had an assistant. <laughs> that movie Get Hard taught me about the key string. <laughs> you mean you're putting things in your prison wallet? Yeah, everyone, everyone on my channel knows about the prison wallet. I, oh, did, a yeah. whole, I did a whole video devoted to the prison wallet. Uh, uh, things that have been found there? Yeah, things that have been found in your prison it's, wallet. The storage unit? No, uh, they call it boofing. Hmm. No, dude. They, they found whole guns in prison wallets. 
Yeah, I have uh, I have a few patients that are uh, proctologists or urologists, and they have some pretty gnarly stories about things that people insert in their, you know, urethrism. Like, really? How, how does this just make... You got a marble in there? You got an army figure in there? How, how gnarly can I get with my police stories? Um, Do I have a story for you? I mean, so gnarly the G isn't even silent anymore? All right, so... Uh, get gnarly? Oh, this SI joint first. Let's go there. The song goes on there. Big deep breath. And blow it out. That's the one you needed right there. This one goes here. <laughs> Alright, lean your back. Let this go. Pretty good there. This one. Solid. Alright, go ahead. Your story time? Dude, story time? Yeah. Pick that right knee up. And then take it back down. And back up. Oh, I don't like that at and all. Take it down. And back up. <laughs> the gnarly story, man. Where's the gnarly story? I'm trying to get to the gnarly story. The gnarly. This is worse than the shoulder and neck thingy. <laughs> keep moving it, keep moving it. The guy got fisted to death. Like fisted. He, uh. Like, like yeah, you got punched in the face and kind of cracked his skull? Yeah, dude, right up his butt. Um, so I was. Punched supposed, his face through his butt. I was supposed to work that shift and I called in and I wish I would have went just to like see this gnarly story. Um, <laughs> so my buddy, uh, my buddy Lo Logan. Uh, this is unintentional? Uh, I'll, I'll get there. So, like, I would have responded to it, but like I said, I called in that day and, uh, it was these. Uh, this these two dudes, this, this married couple, and uh, uh, came in as an unintentional death, and uh, uh, so they were doing like poppers and ecstasy and all sorts of gnarly drugs to make it easier to fist each other, and so it's a popper. It's like it's like a drug that makes your muscles relax, so it's easier to fit things in places yeah. that things shouldn't go. Like cyclobenzaprine maybe or I, I don't know. Um, so this guy was just like bah 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 going at it with his boyfriend, and uh, his boyfriend was on so many like uppers, and his heart was moving so fast he had a heart attack. So hmm. he, he like hit his I guess he hit his like what is it sciatic nerve or whatever it is. Huh. And he was like hitting it over and over, and he was already on a bunch of drugs, and he died. He had a heart attack and he died. Like as he was getting puppeted, he like he, he just he died. And so they responded and they're like. Well, we can't do anything. It's not a murder. Like he, it, it wasn't intentional. Acc accidental homicide. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It was You know, you can't even say manslaughter when they were just, you know, they were just doing the things they normally do. <laughs> I can stop telling stories like that. If you <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> it's your time. Your time, Cook. Ah, that was good. All right, pull back over in your stomach. Been through the cement mixer? What? You been through the cement mixer? No, I don't know what you're talking about. That hurt? Is it ticklish? Or? No, no, that was kind of ticklish, yeah. <laughs> I just didn't know what you were doing. Well, you've been through the cement mixer and you grab me by my hips. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? Oh, I was like, okay, gotcha. Little pucker action. A little close here. In your party pants. <laughs> I love these shorts. I like them too. It's a sloth rollerblading. I like festive. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Maybe Ruth? That's a different sloth. You know, they say Goonies never die. No, Goonies never say die. No. They say Goonies die. No. Something like that. Some mix of those words. Jesus born is Jason Christ. It's, it's, it's there somewhere. Yeah, that sounds like a southern thing. <laughs> Raise his leg up as high as he can. That's that, that thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then back down, right side again. 
And left side again. Back down. Push that knee down towards the table. Which one? This one. This one. Yeah. And then relax it. And push down. And relax. And push down. <coughs> and relax. Alright, let's go ahead and sit back up. How do you feel? Oh, that was not really. No, it hurt during. I feel like I'm so freaking loose now. Oh, that was nice. So put your hand on your hip like that. A little sassy action. Pull that elbow straight back. Good. Okay, same thing here. Now can go ahead and pull. Good. <laughs> hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video that you're watching, but if you're interested in pursuing this kind of work as a career, you too can become a doctor of neuropathy. Go to sunm.edu. I put the link in the description below. You can check it out. Let's go both hands up top here. Right here? Yep. I'm gonna do a little exam on you here. Okay. So, both hands are up here, right? Yeah. Relax. Let this go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was awesome. That was a good one. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. How are we feeling there? Oh, buddy. He's feeling open. Oh, that's nice. Stand oh, taller. I know. Oh, man. My back feels good. That was awesome. The better? Yeah, I feel fucking great. That was nice. Sorry, I'll stop cursing now. How's the back there? Loose? Oh, buddy. Yeah. 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 It's not, it doesn't sound like sandpaper right now, so that's really cool. That's a good thing. Yeah. Next sandpaper's on. I, don't have, I don't have sandpaper neck anymore, so that's no, pretty rad. It's, it's a brand of conditioning. You just coined it. Oh, I trademarked that? <sighs> Got the AMA see you for it? We, so it's funny, dude, I was doing workout streams for a while on Twitch, and I would put a mic on my knee and do squats, and it's just like, <laughs> the crap is. Yeah, it just sounds like sandpaper. Does it hurt? Or just no, not really? No, it doesn't hurt. It just sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so that crap that's just like the cartilage is kind of worn away under there. Okay. So my, um, actually my right knee, I feel, feel my left one here. It's actually not bad, but it probably yeah. feels like yours. Yeah. yeah. I feel my right one. Yeah. It's very little on this one now. Yeah. This one used to be like three times louder than this one. Damn. So I had stem cell shot into this knee um, in Colombia. Oh, like wow. made a big difference actually. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, bio accelerator. I'm gonna take care of my boy. Take him to Medellin. Some content there as well. I'm taking sponsors. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, otherwise, you feel pretty good. Yeah, dude, I feel great. That That's was great. Awesome. So, if you haven't already, make sure to go subscribe. Donate operator. He's also got three other channels. We'll stick it below. Uh, <laughs> again, shout out to Black Rifle Coffee Company uh, for taking care of us here today. And otherwise, make sure you go check out. He's got his reviews up all the time. I feel good, man. You should start strapping mics on your people to do some ASMR when you when you pop it. A lot of people do. He talks too much for that. <laughs> I do. Those are rad, man. Blad blad around. Feel good though? Yeah, dude. I feel great. Awesome. So make sure to go check out his channel. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.